Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use a IPVO Ziggy document camera with Smart Notebook. This document camera is an inexpensive alternative to the Smart Document camera. Uh, I believe at the time of this tutorial, uh, the Ziggy camera was selling online at the IPVO store for $89. Uh, which is basically hundreds less than the smart document camera. However, uh, it is not supported through smart notebook natively as is their own document camera. Therefore, we need to um, address a small workaround to add the functionality of a document camera um, while using smart notebook. First, you'll need to open uh, the software that came with your uh, document camera. Maximize the screen a little bit. And now I'm just showing a book underneath the camera, and it's showing you the live video feed. This could be shown on your smart board using a digital projector. Now I'm bringing Smart Notebook and dragging it over the top of the screen. From the toolbar, I'm going to click the transparency screen setting. And now the background of Smart Notebook disappears, and I'm left with this handy toolbar. I can still see what's underneath my document camera. And I can click on something like a pen tool. I can be writing on the screen. I'm actually writing on Smart Notebook right now, but it's set to transparency mode, so the stage area is now hidden. I can erase what I've just written on the screen. I'm going to click the camera icon from the toolbar. Uh, click the second icon in, and that will allow me to take a snapshot of the IPVO document camera window. Just by clicking on it once, it now takes a picture, inserts it into a new page in Smart Notebook, and if I go to the um, transparency setting on the toolbar and click the button again to show the stage. I'm now back into the full version of Smart Notebook. I can now manipulate the image that I took using the camera tool. Make it larger, smaller. I can take a pen tool like a highlighter and write on the image. I can see it in the slide sorting Another tab. way of getting an image into Smart Notebook from the dock and camera is going back to the transparency mode using the IPVO software to zoom in using the document camera. And now I can take the camera tool, click the first button where it allows me to select an area of the screen, and I'm just going to get the area that I want, and it's not going to take a photo of the, the excess that I don't need. Go back to the full screen with the stage, and now you see it took a picture of the area that I zoomed in on. And again, you can write on this and use the creative tools. Well, that's all for this tip. Um, I hope you have found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your technology mentor.